SHIP has been involved in Mendelia through the hospital since SHIP started back in 2009. Um, Candy Fenske, who is the CEO of the hospital, has been involved in our community leadership team. And so that was really kind of our step in into the community. Um, and since then, we've been able to have a partnership with the school, um, with Tony Downs Foods, doing worksite wellness, and the hospital, as well as the Medelia Community-Based Collaborative. SHIP has been very good to work with. It's easy to work with. Um, we've had members from the, the state level come down and visit with us and, and talk about you know, things that we may look at or um, just they have been interested in what we're doing and so it, it feels good to have that collaboration. The best thing about working on the Medelia based collaborative project is you can see actual growth, actual movement and you are really making a difference in the community or being able to fill the gap. We have faculty and students have a lot of energy and when they come into the community, some of the community members, you don't really realize what you have here and the potential that you have in the community. When outside members come in, they can really help ignite some energy behind the project. So the collaborative, Medelia Community Based Collaborative is made up of a whole conglomeration of people. We have professors, teachers from Minnesota State University, Mankato. We have community members, um, the principal of the elementary school. We have an elementary student from the, from the county. We um, also have, uh, from the Ministerial Association, we have uh, one of the members from that, hospital employees. There's a large portion of the community that is obese and obesity leads to, can lead to diabetes and, and heart disease. And so we figured out that we needed to tackle that problem. And we, we decided the easiest way to do that um, was to start with the kids. Kids are very impressionable. The Medelia Active Living Coalition, which was actually born out of the SHIP um, grant, and they have been successful at really engaging the school with Safe Routes to School um, and combining the Safe Routes to School work with the community work. Active living is um, where we try to get the people, the children, all the families and everything more active uh, so that they aren't coming home sitting on the couch, uh, trying to establish walking, biking trails. And we had uh, walk to school, bike to school days uh, with the rest of the United States we participated. Had really good participation with that. The bike path was an idea of the Active Living Coalition that um, children and adults would have a safe walking and biking path in Medelia and noted that the old Highway 60 was not marked and had parking alongside, which made it dangerous. So we went to the Medelia City Council and um, petitioned along with um, Roger Reeser, the county um, engineer, that we could have um, markings and signage for a bike path. Looking at ways that they can create some connectivity between the community um, assets. So one of the things that they just had accomplished was extra lighting and a new trail that was put up between the hospital, which connects the hospital, the um, high school, Tony Downs Foods, and the recreational um, parks and rec in Medelia.